Hi there, my name is Jesse and I'm the owner and founder of Attention to Detail in the Central Coast of California. I'm going to go over a few professional tips that we have, the most common questions I'll say that our customers ask us about products and their uses and what we use professionally to make cars look amazing and what you can find locally maybe at your auto parts store or hardware store that's comparable to our professional products that will help give you amazing results. The first thing I want to talk about a little bit is water. Uh, you know, a lot of people wash their car with tap water, and that's fine, you know, for you at home. Just know that you're going to spend a lot of time drying it and getting hard water spots off. We have a system made by Hydrologic. It gets us zero parts per million. Uh, there's a gauge. It's a, a reverse osmosis system, two deionizers, and a water softener in the back. I'll go a little more into that later and let you know what the benefits are of using a pure water on your car. Um, no spots, way less time drying and it's just beneficial uh, for the finish and a lot less work. So we'll get into that later, but for now I want to go over some of the products we use. Bear with me. Okay, first and foremost, before we start washing any cars, we take care of the tires and the wheels. Now, the tires and the wheels are vitally important to vehicles because they are the bling. They're the ring, they're the jewelry, and they usually have the most dirt and grease and grime and guck on them. There are two products that I highly recommend. You can get them at most auto parts places. For the tires, it's uh, called Bleach White. Uh, it comes in a white bottle, red tip, uh, very effective. It's sold and marketed as a white wall cleaner. However, it will work on any kinds of tires. Uh, it is acidic, uh, so you need to be careful when using this product. Definitely don't get it in your eyes. Um, it won't really irritate your skin, uh, but it, it may. It very well may. Um, you spray it on, let it sit for a minute, rinse it off, your tires are clean. The next thing we use is a wheel cleaner. Uh, we use something called Spoke, made by Auto Magic, but this is the same product, essentially. It's an all-wheel cleaner. It's made by Super Clean. When you look for this purple bottle, make sure it says all-wheel cleaner because Super Clean does sell a product similar to this. That isn't for wheels, it just says Super Clean. It works great on most wheels. You don't want to use it on magnesium. Uh, you don't want to let it sit on aluminum. It will damage those um, wheels. But for, if used correctly, this stuff is awesome. Now, getting into the car wash. You want to start with Automagic. Uh, we have wash and wax here. It's infused wax and soap. It's real thick. Little goes a super long way. I love this product. There's a lot of great car washes on the market. Most of them are relatively inexpensive. What you do not want to use on your car are degreasers, um, dish soap, Dawn, stuff like that will uh, take any protection off your paint. It doesn't matter if it's a hard wax, it doesn't matter if it's a synthetic wax, uh, polymer, any of that, it'll take it right off. So start your wash with a wash uh, for cars. Inexpensive, easy use, less expensive, honestly, than dish soap. So, now that your car is clean, you need to put some protection on it. There are a couple different ways to go. There are a couple different schools of thought. What I like to do is use a wax. Um, there are other waxes that are um, polymers, Teflons, things like that. I don't think anything protects better than a nice paste wax or a hard wax. We use Automagic BC2. It has a low abrasion, meaning it's not scratchy. Uh, it's between low and medium. It's not as low as some waxes, but it's certainly not a compound. Uh, when you take it off, it comes right off. There's no dust and stuff like you'll see with some waxes, and it's a good product. Stuff that's sold uh, over the counter, we have uh, Turtle Magic Makes Ice. It's a synthetic polish. It's a polymer. It works good, and uh, synthetic uh, turtle wax works well, too. Spray it on, wipe it off. Don't have a lot of protection, but it makes your car look amazing. In a pinch, it'll make your car shine. Now, if you have some problems on your finish, scratches under usually the door handles, the bottom of the car, uh, we use Synthetic Cut. Um, it is a highly abrasive and needs to be used carefully. However, if you read the manufacturer's label, 
It'll tell you how to use these products safely and effectively and not damage your finish. Before you use anything like synthetic cut, before you use anything like BC2, it's always helpful to put auto clay on the finish of your car and rub. Okay? There are a couple products you can use to keep your car lubricated while you're sliding it. You don't want to scratch the finish. We use Last Touch. It's sold like this. These are a little expensive. It's also sold. Here we go. It's also sold with the clay in a little bottle like this. It's the same product, smells great, and uh, you can use it as a final touch up. You can use it as a, a clay lubricant. But you use auto clay, and I'll, we'll get into that later. Use auto clay to get you know, anything you don't want to compound into your finish or wax into your finish. So I have synthetic cut. There are a lot of good stuff on the market. Swirl X is made by Meguiar's. It's a swirl remover. Essentially, it's nothing more than a compound that's marketed under a different name. So let's get to the inside. Now, there are a lot of conflicting information about the insides of cars. Um, different models have different types of material. Uh, you have polyester, you have cotton poly blends, you have leather, pleather, vinyl, plastic, carbon fiber. There's, you know, it's, it's countless. The one thing that I found that works pretty well on most of those subsurfaces is a Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner. The stuff's not too expensive. I think it's 20 bucks or so for a gallon, and you can dilute it four to one, which means you can get four gallons of cleaner out of this one thing. So for 20 bucks, you're looking at what, four or five bucks a gallon, and a gallon goes a long way. Um, that works on spots, it works on wood trim, works on just about anything. However, if there is a spot that you can't get out with the all-purpose cleaner by Meguiar's, the stuff that we like to use is OxyClean. Um, Billy Blanks was right, man. Nothing cleans like the power of oxygen. This stuff works great. Now, the big misnomer is leather. A lot of people want to put armor all or vinyl dressing on leather. It's a huge no-no. Um, leather is a breathable surface. It's, uh, you need something pH balanced. We have a couple different products we use for leather, depending on the integrity of the leather, how long it's been around, and things like that. The best all-purpose stuff I have is PNS leather treatment. Uh, they have a lot of different kinds of leather treatment like this. What I would suggest if you're not doing this commercially, if you're just doing it at home, it's your leather seats, you want them to look great, look into some Lexol. It's the standby, it's the old standard. It comes in a cleaner, which is a low foaming pH balance cleaner and a conditioner. So you take this with some water, it suds up, it gets all the little cracks and crevices, cleans up real nice and then uh, you apply this afterwards to condition it, then wipe it off. There are some concerns, it kind of leaves the seats greasy, but it makes them pliable, it makes them, it makes them good. I love this product. We don't use it for most applications because it's really expensive and we can get the same, uh, we can get the same performance out of a one-step product like this. So, products to stay away from. Armor all. Uh, I don't use armor all. We don't like it. It dries stuff out. It cracks stuff. It's an inferior product. These wipes, they're over-marketed. They're overrated, uh, and you should they should be underused, in my opinion. Something that we have, which is much uh, superior to armor all, is Automagic Super Dress It. It is like armor all, only it really is good for vinyl. Again, don't use this on leather, but you can use it on an interior and exterior trim. It's awesome stuff. Uh, this product is VOC Magic. A lot of people put armor all on their tires. They want their tires to be shiny. This is an oil-based dressing. VOC compliant, so it's okay to use in a green environment. It's okay. Body shop safe. Um, and it makes tires look great. Shiny, beautiful. Uh, armor all will dry and crack your tires. This stuff won't. Um, there's a couple other products. Uh, I believe Turtle Wax makes something called Tire Foam. I like that stuff. You want to get it off after you spray it on, um, but it works well too. Let's see. I think that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. Please subscribe. There will be a lot more uh, things to come. We'll go into the Hydrologic uh, uh, water purification system made by Hydrologic Systems. 
We'll go into a couple different polishers we use, Cyclo versus Meguiar's versus Flex. Uh, we're going to get into some steam cleaners. Uh, we have a Vapor Blitz 2000. We have a cheap uh, McCullough steam cleaner. We're going to do some side-by-side -side comparisons. I'm going to show you how to remove swirl marks. And if you have any uh, anything that you want to know personally, let me know, and, and I'll get back to you. Um, we clean everything from autos, RVs, motorcycles, buggies, uh, aircraft. We, we do it all, and, uh, and we do it pretty well. So thanks again for watching. From all of us at Attention to Detail, we wish you and yours a shiny day.